Hello everybody, and, uh, welcome to another episode of Sprocket. Um, so, in some corrupted footage, actually, uh, we passed some border, we're now on to Railway. I think, for Railway, I think we're going to go for a new, um, or a bit, something a bit newer, okay? So we have the TU2, right? The T2. We're going to rename the hall to T2. Oh. And we're going to save it. Okay. Now. Going to hit new design. And we're gonna bring out the T2 hole. Apparently we have to... <sighs> okay. Off tracks. Bring them in. Oh, Jesus. Tar. And it actually... that oh yeah I forgot I should be speaking and shit um so right now um, I'm just designing again. I'm gonna make the treads a bit bigger. Get the compartments, get the faces. Bring them out to there. And with that, we can also. should also bring this all forward to there and with that we're gonna bring the idler forward and our rope wheels there so what we're just making an updated upgraded uh, version of the uh, T2 this will be the T9 like it says. And at the top here. Uh, 
Actually, no. Control Z. Control Z that again. Alright. Yep. I think that's pretty much fine. Let's make a new turret just entirely new freeform that's a pretty crappy turret nope not liking it All right. bring this down Extend the sides. Can bring it in like that. Gonna extend this back a bit and in. I don't, oh my god. Yep. Just those. Yeah, no. We're not gonna do that for this uh, tank. Bring this forward in a bunch but more move the entire turret back a little bit I mean it's a really really big turret on a really really small base but should work right Actually, we might want to extend the back too. Maybe let's bring the separation out. Drag it out a bit. are going to be huge like that actually as we head into the early war period I'm going to There. Bring this back. Yeah, like that. It's fifty six point five. Perfect. I don't I don't really give a crap. Um, <whistles> Q. 
cold, the open water blowing. Just like that, I guess. Let's update and upgrade El Tonka. Ooh, we might. Mm. Might just bring it all up a bit, just like that. Tank. Look at that, she. Still gonna have actually could put our fuel up here. There. And then engine events. Like that. we could bring these down still have them like that Non-historical, non-historical pipe similar to those found on some German big cats. Exhaust defines the location of the engine. I'm falling asleep. <laughs> and this is side and T-34s. I think we're gonna have like a banana jam of these of like just different parts from different countries because that's basically what Soviet was that's basically what um, the Swedes did they kind of just mashed a whole bunch of different tank cultures together and called it a day this to the side and grab it make it wider taller bit more forward and I guess we could put it on like that but that <laughs> doesn't seem like a good idea Firepower. Let's go to firepower next. Let's um slap on an IS turret, maybe. Matilda. By the way, due to the lore of our made-up tank, 
this is the Swedish monarchists, so they will have gone for um, a like be siding with the Germans. Um, so having that influence would probably give it turret like that. I don't know. Could also they could have also sided with the British which would give them a turret like that. Yeah, they probably sided with the British on this one. Let's give, um... I don't, I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. Let's go to a random number generator. 